Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the thermostat wiring of a furnace and air conditioning system. And we're going to be going over the terminals, the color code, the voltage path, and how it works. I wanted to take this opportunity to just let you know that we have a new book out, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning. This book is available over at our website at acservicetech.com and also amazon.com. So here you see we have a diagram of the thermostat, furnace, and outdoor condensing unit. So for the outdoor condenser, those two terminals, the Y and the C, are found on the contactor. Inside the furnace, you see that we have a W, an R, a Y, a G, and a C. And so those are located on the control board inside the furnace. The terminals for the thermostat are W, that's for heat, Y, that's for cooling, G is for fan, RC is 24 volt power for cooling, R is 24 volt power for heating, and C is the common. So the color code, we usually use W, that's white, Y, and that's yellow, G, and that's green, R, and that's red, and C is usually blue. So it just depends on how many wires you have in your thermostat wire. So in this case, we needed five wires, and we typically have six ran to the thermostat, just in case we need to switch one of those wires out. But you may have eight wires, you may have less wires and they have to use a different color so you always want to make sure that if you were going to replace the thermostat that you turn the power off to the furnace and you look inside the furnace to see which color wires are wired to which terminals you can also take a picture of the thermostat terminals before disconnecting the thermostat wires from the old thermostat out at your outdoor condensing unit we usually use the red and the white wires and it doesn't matter which ones you use and that's because that you're just powering a load and you're just going to be powering it with 24 volts. So it doesn't matter if the 24 volts comes in on one side of the contactor or the other side of the contactor. So you know, the RC is used for cooling thermostats and R is used for heat thermostats. So if you have a furnace and air conditioning system that's all connected together, then you're gonna have RC and R jumped. Where we have the 24 volts starting at is at the furnace. So anytime you have power to the furnace, you have 24 volts coming out of the R terminal on the control board of the furnace. Then it goes up to the RC, and then you have the RC connecting in the thermostat through the load in order to power the thermostat, and then it comes back through the C terminal at the furnace control board. So then that's how you would have your thermostat be lit up if you were going to power it with the 24 volts from the furnace. Now, if the thermostat has batteries, you don't need to have that fifth wire, which would be the blue common wire. You would just use the, the DC voltage in the batteries in order to power the thermostat. You want to make sure that those thermostat batteries are fully charged, meaning that you want to change them out uh, periodically just to make sure that they're not weak. Because what will happen is you'll be trying to turn your air conditioning on or trying to turn your heat on, and the thermostat won't be able to close the connections between the the RC and the G or the RC and the Y or the R and the W and then your heat or your air conditioning won't come on. So now we're going to go over the voltage path of how this works in, in reference to uh, turning on your fan, your cooling and your heat. So now that you see that we have the thermostat powered with 24 volts and we have the C wired back to the furnace, we're going to then turn the fan on. So R is a 24 volts from the furnace over to the thermostat and when we turn the fan on R C connects to G. So then after it connects to G in the thermostat it goes back to the furnace control board and energizes the 24 volts on the G terminal. So that tells the furnace control board to turn the blower on. If you were to turn the cooling on then you have the 24 volts going to the RC and the RC is going to connect to the G and the Y and then the 24 volts is going to be found back over at the furnace on the Y and the G terminals. When that happens, the blower motor is going to turn on in its highest fan speed. And then you're going to have another wire that goes out to the outdoor condenser. Once you have 24 volts on the contactor, it's going to then power the contactor and the voltage is going to find its way back through the C terminal and back to the common of the furnace control board. So that's going to power the contactor and that's going to turn on the outdoor fan and also the outdoor compressor. So then you're going to be in your highest fan speed and have your refrigerant cycling through the air conditioning system in order for air conditioning mode to occur. Now, if you're just going to turn heat on, the R terminal connects to the W terminal in the thermostat, 
and then the 24 volts finds its way back to the furnace control board and when the furnace sees 24 volts on the W terminal it's going to start the sequence of operation for heat. If you're looking for a video on wiring a condensate safety switch I have a video for that linked down in the description section below. Also check out our book The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning. In this book we go over the different refrigerant charging methods that we use out in the field and also the troubleshooting methods. We go over airflow problems and preparing a system for refrigerant. We go over the different procedures in a step-by-step -step manner. That book is available over at Amazon.com and also at our website at acservicetech.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.